Hello, Anna. Hello, Terry. I'm Terry David Mulligan, uh, and she is Anna McGarrigal. And uh, I found her and her wonderful little dog. Uh, Shall uh, we name nameless? Are you in Ontario now? Yes, I am. Okay, fine. Um, the uh, uh, There's a, a, a short film has brought us together. It's called The Girl with the Red Beret. And Janet Perlman is the... Uh, uh, the artist who created this animation and directed it as well. And I love the fact that the music, the basis literally for everything we see on screen comes from one of your songs, Kate and Anna McGargal, from that first album. It's called Complaint pour Sainte Catherine. Complaint pour Sainte Catherine. It's a complaint, a, a, and St. Catherine Street is the main street in Montreal where we're from. And uh, and the guy that wrote the lyrics actually is uh, Philippe Tatarchev, yes. who comes from Timmins, Ontario. That's where he grew up, um, and he ended up at McGill in in Montreal, and that's where we all met. And, and, and we writing in the seventies with him. Uh, and I, as I understand, I saw this written somewhere that um, it took you less than half an hour. Yes, that's true. We were writing it as a as a flip side for something, a project that I was on. I, this was even before Kate and I, um, you know, had our deal with Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. It was for a, a single, and we needed a B side. But it was included on the self titled seventy five seventy six album, right? Uh, yes, but but not that not that original version. It was a new version that we did when Kate and I went to New York City. We were playing you know various songs that could go on the record for the producers who wanted to hear our stuff they knew some of our stuff and i played them that song and they wanted to do it their own version for the record so that's as you uh, we, i mean we both agree that it's a song about saint catherine street uh, in montreal which is the heart and soul of montreal but it's a song about being underneath th that yeah, street it's about trying to stay warm in sub-zero <laughs> temperature in the shopping malls that run underneath all, the city, yeah, underneath Montreal, whereas St. Catherine Street is on top, you know, runs is running on top of the, the metro, so. It, it, here's the thing about the, 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 the song itself. Um, it, it could be a, a drinking song in a pub somewhere. Right, it could be it could be around a campfire. It has that kind of lilt to it, that wonderful looseness, uh, and and instantly memorable. You can sing the song back to yourself. Um, uh, subways, most subways that I, I've ever ridden on, can't wait to get out. So, <laughs> so, so the characters uh, in the girl with the red beret, once she goes into the subway, there's this this stream of characters going by. Yes, there's. Uh, <laughs> it is quite funny. I mean, she does basically tell the story as it unfolds in the song. But yes, the characters are, are interesting, aren't they? Uh, and uh, as as the girl with the red beret uh, goes into the subway, is that you on the button accordion on the left hand side? Um, that's actually my uh, a sort of cartoonish drawing of my daughter Lily. <laughs> okay. Lily sings because what Janet did is she wanted to use the song, but they didn't want to make a song video, and sure. also the movie is the, the movie. The film is longer than the song, so um, they what they did is they used it as the bottom in the bottom, and then on top of it, um, Judith Stitzer, who did the music, built you know an, another complaint on top of it, and she has my daughter Lily singing and my niece Martha Wainwright singing. And then, but then she sort of, and then a lot of other people came in and sang that, that would sound like people in the subway, not everybody, you know, singing perfectly. She was going, trying to get that sort of the sound of the masses that they were trying to sing the song. Uh, so that's basically what, uh, what the soundtrack consists of. For, for the audience again, this is, this is a four and a half, five minute uh, animated film. We could talk for an hour about this film and the McGarrigals and the Red Beret and, their, and, and Montreal and the music coming out of Montreal. This is timeless, uh, but I just want to tell you how the delight in finding that this music w was alive and well and had been reimagined uh, along with the visual to go with it. 
And there's a whole new audience going to discover the song and you and the story. Okay, well, thank you very much. I hope people rediscover it too. (laughs) 